happy Labor Day, people. Uh, finally, I got a day off from work. Um, I've been on vacation for a week or two, so that's why it took so long to post up a new video. But today, we're going to do a comparison between client tools in pricing and also in quality. So let's give it a whirl. Okay, first, we have the insulated screwdrivers. Now, as you can see, these Milwaukee screwdrivers came in a set three for 20. Um, I like this set, especially this one right here, This the SAE. Other people call it different things, but that's what I call it, SAE. Um, I like this right here. It's very good for panels and stuff like that. And for 20 bucks, you can't beat that. Uh, I use this as my beater. You know, I, I really don't care. I just buy me some new ones. And here, all these, these got I got in the kit. This one's came by itself. This is the Robertson, the big number two one. This actually by itself is 20 bucks, but you could tell the difference in quality and texture on this one. Um, I like to put black at, black tape on them just because sometimes I'll beat on them and I don't want them to scratch up the insulation on this, so that's why I put black tape. Now, these flatheads, they're pretty good, but compared to this one, this one, I, feel, I feel like this one does a very good job of, of getting into things. Now, I'm not knocking this one down. I'm pretty sure I will need this one, smaller one, too. But at most times, with a bigger flat head on t at the tip, it will give you more grip and more power. Now, I have the other one, too. This one. This is a little bigger. But, uh, like I said, th these will basically all cost you $20 each. Unless you buy them in a set, I think they'll, be, they'll probably be like 35 or 45 in a set. Like I said, I got this one separately. But, you know, you get what you pay for. These three for 20 And these all together, I'm pretty sure they'll cost about $65 if you uh, buy them one by one or in a set. Next are my Lanyard Tethers. Uh, this is Klein. This one cost me less than 15 bucks. Uh, this one's pretty good. I, li I like how it is. Very simple, very basic. Uh, just a simple uh, carabiner, you know, nothing too fancy. And really, that's all I needed. I don't need nothing too fancy, you know, something just to hold my tools and stuff like that. Now, when I went to the Milwaukee store, I saw this one. This one was 25 bucks, But on this one, you have to twist, and then it just locks, you know. On the other one, it's just a plain, simple carabiner, you know, just opens and up, closes, you know, that's, that's all it does. So... You could tell this one was more uh, thought into it. I I could tell this was more rugged. If you uh, the feel is very very strong. This one too. This is this is just a a plain ten pound uh, tether. You know nothing too much. Uh, this is I might use it for one of my tools. This is for another tool. And uh, it just depends on my mood if I think that it deserves a, a, a better grip on it. But this will do the same job that this one does. This just it just feels more better quality and more thought into it. But, you know, this one was cheaper than this one. Next, we have my Klein Tools Rechargeable Headlamp. Now, the reason why I like this headlamp and not the Milwaukee one was because with this rechargeable one, you don't have to take out a battery out and recharge it and stick it into it and back and forth because that's just another thing to charge. With this one, all you need is an Android charger and you can just charge it up on the go. Now this one cost about 40 bucks, so it's about $20 cheaper than the Milwaukee one. And what I like about this one is that you can actually snap it off and take it off the headband and just use it as a regular light. And you see how bright it is? Also it has a little area light too. And every time you push the button, it tells you the, the status of the battery. So I like that. And here I think is where the sun, if the light or sun hits it, it will turn off by itself. So that's pretty smart. Now the headband is also pretty good because when I put it on the helmet and then take it off the helmet, it goes back to the original state it was. So it's a pretty nifty little uh, gadget. Now with this gadget right here, you, I don't have to take off my helmet and give it to somebody. Uh, usually that's what happens whenever I don't have any light. I got to give, give my helmet to somebody and so they can uh, use my light. But it works like this. Um, here's a. Uh, it also tilts, so I can. Next, we have my Milwaukee Quick Cuts, or uh, little impact hole saws, whatever you want to call them. Everybody has their own different name for them. 
Now, the reason why I like this so much is because it already comes with an arbor on it, and so all you, you got to do is just put it on the impact and go, and uh, it'll make the hole. But a lot of people don't like to use the impact. They say it's not strong enough, so they like to use the drill. But I think that's what broke my arbor on this one. They started using my drill, and it broke on it. It might have been too much torque or too much power. I also broke on my on my bigger one. But, you know, you could probably change it out. Now, each of these, they're like 15 bucks each. 30 for uh, 3 or 32 for 3. The Klein ones, the carbide ones, they're like 40 to 50 bucks each, 60 bucks each. Uh, I know I'm picking over stuff that I shouldn't be picking over, but, you know, I, I'm just saying if you want to buy some good quality uh, uh, little quick cuts or uh, something quick, the Klein ones are way better, but these are a little bit more disposable. They, you know, you don't have to be so gentle with them. The Klein ones, you, you know, you don't have to be so gentle, but... But these, you know, you got to be a little bit more uh, gentle with them or you're going to break them quick. Uh, so it's just about the money-wise and price-wise and how much do you use them. Next are this uh, knockout punch set. Now, I know this is Pittsburgh, not Milwaukee, but and I'm just telling you about quality. Uh, this is a Klein Tools Cutter uh, for one and a quarter. That's the only thing I'm missing. I don't have a one and a quarter to make one and a quarter uh, holes. So I bought this. And I was thinking I would use the stem from the knockout punch set from Pittsburgh and use it as as the knockout for this, but it doesn't go all the way through. So that doesn't work. And the punch, or the die, I was going to use the die, and uh, it doesn't fit all the way. It just, it, it semi-fits, you know, it gets stuck and stuff like that, so it's not going to work. And these punches, they look very cheap they don't look very strong very durable i'm think i'm just going to use this as my wear and tear uh punch knockout set but uh i think i'm just going to buy me a klein tools stem with the cup and use my impact just to uh hit it from the top this is a and um that's where i can make my holes and uh make it a lot easier for myself